peptides are found in most cells in the body. Uh, they are these uh, polymers uh, made from alpha amino acids. Uh, many diseases can be traced back to uh, malfunctions of these polymers. Therefore, these compounds will have great scope as uh, pharmaceuticals. Unfortunately, they can be recognized and therefore degraded. So uh, it would be of great interest to uh, make some compounds that would mimic uh, these peptides, but not be recognizable by the body. Some of the most studied uh, mimics are beta peptides, where you have an extra carbon atom in the, uh, in the backbone, and these peptides where you have moved the side chain to, uh, to the nitrogen. For uh, this project, we are working on this very uh, novel uh, combination of these two, where you both have the extra carbon atom and you have the uh, side chain on the nitrogen. One of the things that we would uh, very much like to mimic is the folding of these uh, molecules, which is uh, one of the reasons for the great selectivity of peptides. And this is uh, done by hydrogen bonding. Unfortunately, in, uh, in these peptides, uh, there are no hyd hydrogen bond donors, yet they still display some secondary structure, some of them even stable. Uh, so what we are trying to find out is what's stabilizing these, uh, these structures and it has been proposed that uh, it is either the uh, oxygen lone pair that is interacting with the carbonyl group or with the uh, aryl groups of uh, the side chains. Uh, what this change is this uh, amide bond, which can be thought of as a, as a double bond. So what we would like to do is we will try to control this equilibrium by substituting different things in the backbone, thereby being able to control the secondary structure.